let us know about uh, what you've been doing lately. Well, lately here, um, I just got back from Iraq, and now I'm just here kind of spreading the word about fitness. Mm. You know, the uh, SEALs have uh, taken upon themselves to go around and spread the word about, you know, obesity in America mm. is uh, it's getting pretty bad. So we're going around right now, setting up Navy SEAL fitness challenges and going around and trying to educate people on just how to be, you know, just fitter people. So that's what I'm going around now doing, spreading the word, you know, motivating people. Because I used to weigh 280, mm. and now I weigh like 190. Mm -hmm. So, you know, go around telling people, hey, go out there, run a couple minutes a day, you know, bike, you know, do some uh, exercises, just, just get in shape. Absolutely. And what about enlistments? I mean, you, people can, you know, sort of, you know, use that as motivation as well, you know, and, and enlist in the Navy, right? Right. Um, right now, we're, we're really looking for uh, great people to enlist in the Navy. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great time to enlist in the Navy. There's, there's great bonuses, things like that. But besides that, it's just a great way to start your life. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And as a, as an American citizen, um, you know, it's absolutely fantastic, uh, you know, to, to do something great for your country like that and, and defend as well in, uh, in hard times. Okay, now race day, what's your goals? Well, my goals, I just want to take it easy, have a good race, not blow up, not try to compete against some of these great athletes. I'm a uh, ultra distance person. I'm not a, uh, this isn't a short distance by any means, but these people who are great, like the, you know, Chris McCormick's people like that can redline for a whole race and finish in like eight hours. And, and I would, uh, that's, that's just amazing to me. So my thing is to do my race and whatever that is, that's what it is. And uh, just quickly give us an idea of what your weekly mileage would be swimming, biking and running. Well, I'm kind of a crazy guy. I, I overtrain for everything I do. Um, I'm not a triathlete by any means, I just train. So my weekly mileage on the run is about 120, 125, and I bike about 200 to 250 miles a week, and I swim anywhere from eight to 10 miles a week. So I'm a big ultra runner, is what I am, and everything else is kind of cross training. Yeah, I, I was going to say, uh, you're pretty heavily weighted on that final right. discipline. I don't think we're going to have any problems spotting you coming into the finish line with all that run mileage. You'll be the guy that just wants to say, uh, can I just do another loop of the run? <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not too good on the bike or the swim, but when it comes to running, I'm okay. I'm decent. So what about those words, you are an Ironman? Uh, Mike Riley will uh, announce you across the line and get that coveted Ironman medal. That's pretty special, huh? Oh, it is. I mean, for everybody who does this race, and including myself, it's, uh, this is the race. Kona is, is the race. And for me to be here jumping into it is it's, it's very special for me. If you want to see an awesome clip from a young Les Brown, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when just over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan,